SMT Nation, we back. We got a Dish Network update for you guys here. They are continue to build a, They are continuing to build out their network here in the CLE. I'm finding a few more sites here on top of what they've already done. Uh, so they did slow down for a while. I didn't really see them. And I don't want to say that they weren't doing anything here. They just might have been in different parts of town uh, where I wasn't noticing it uh, or present, you know, so I didn't see them. Uh, but they're back on my neck of the woods and they're upgrading and this site is actually uh, really, really close to the freeway. This site's probably mm, maybe a mile and a half or two miles, I would say, south of I-480, which is uh, runs parallel to I-80. And it's a pretty nice, nice location, and, and I'll explain why. Now, this site is pre-existing. Uh, it's an American Tower site, uh, the brand, the company that's a tower company, and, and they do like leases and tower sites and such uh the shell uh the shelter you see here is for at&t all right so all their gear is there their backup power the batteries uh there's you know all the fiber you know coming into the site and all that it's all there uh, anyways what i want to show you guys is some of the details from the site this site is freaking tall all right this is one of the tallest sites in the city and the reason i know that is because <laughs> i it's like one of the few sites that actually is designed to reach like almost three miles. For the most part, whenever you're in developed cities, they just need the sites to reach about a mile and a half, maybe two miles, uh, just because of cell density. But AT&T doesn't have the greatest density in this part of town, so they are really pushing this site. And they have two racks of antennas. Uh, this, this, whole, this, this site is all AT&T, uh, so it's very, very tall. Uh, it... The way that this is set up, I think the one sector, uh, this one here on this side, uh, that's facing south. The other sector is going a little bit north, and it's going west. And then the other sector is facing a little bit north, and it's going east. All right, so um, to kind of show you guys the pre-existing stuff here, here's the AT&T door, you know, to get into the shelter locked up. The, the site's off, you know. It's, it's off limits. You can't access it. Here's the, the site itself. It was upgraded, I'd say, probably two years ago. Uh, I got a whole retrofit for like band 14, band 30, band 29. It got all that stuff. It, it still has not received the N77 upgrade, which I'm expecting very soon. I, I've been I've been literally watching this one for an upgrade. And you guys will see like the, some of the the antennas. They're, they kind of got a little bit of down tilt to them. This site is very, very tall. And, you know, they they really, they, they push the signal and, and they got some wiggle room. All right. So <laughs> uh, probably dealing with a little bit of noise and such. It's a great site. It's very fast. Off peak, it gets like 300 megabits. Uh, and then like during peak times, I've never seen it go below 150 megabits. It's a great site. And in fact, I used to live on this side of town here. Uh, and that was one of that was my serving cell for a couple of years. Uh, so here's another look at kind of like the the workspace, the work area. Again, I couldn't get in, but I was able to shove my phone around a spot in the fence and get a shot for you. And you will see that all the gear for Dish is here. All right, it is locked up. Here are the antennas. All right, here's one here. There's one there. Uh, there's a few more on this side as well uh, as they build out their sectors. Uh, so we got these two here and then i see this one here and then i see a few more in the back so that's a lot of antennas that really is a lot of antennas i i'm i'm gonna come back to see this because it looks like they're gonna go possibly more than than three sectors which is kind of weird I, and then i i see some of the anchoring gear that you know where they put the radios and where they put the antennas uh so i I didn't get get a chance to count, I, but I'm going to come back to this. I want to see what this is when it's done. I don't know if they just got too much gear delivered or too much in a truck or something failed and they got some other stuff shipped in, uh, but we'll see. But it, it's possible this thing could be more than a three-sector site, which would completely shock me because that would be very uncharacteristic of Dish, who's trying to kind of build out this network on a shoestring budget. All right, so here's a closer look at the site with all the gear kind of laying out and all the stuff, all the boxes. And then here is a close-up. Let's see if we could zoom in, and you guys can take a look at the actual ports here where they do connect, um, you know, the antennas so they, they can actually function here. Okay, so here's what I wanted to show you guys. You have 
Uh, this is the um, mid-band spectrum. Uh, the licenses would be, uh, you know, put, this is the input for those. Uh, you'll see it says like 1600 to 2300. So this is going to be their AWS spectrum. Uh, they've got, um, I don't know, I, I think they have like 45 megahertz of it here. Uh, they have two different types of AWS. AWS H, AWS 4, and then I think they have AWS 1, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. I haven't looked at the licenses in a while. Here's the low band stuff. This is going to be for their 600 megahertz and their 700 megahertz. I think they have some here. And then over here is also some um, some mid-band ports as well. All right, so this is a... I mean, these antennas are huge, by the way. So what they're going to do is they're going to connect. And, and if you've been following my videos, there's going to be two radios connecting here to this antenna. And you're going to have a low-band radio. Uh, and then you're going to have a mid-band radio. And if they're going to come back to these sites, they're going to be slapping on more radios and more antennas. Because they have CBRS. They have uh, some C-band in the 3.45 gigahertz DOD. They're going to be putting up separate radios and separate antenna for that because this gear from Fujitsu and JMA does not support those frequency bands. And you know, whatever we're going to have to see how this uh, we're going to see how this performs. And here, I you know, I don't know. You get this tag. It says Comscope here. Um, I don't know. We're going to see how it performs. I'm still trying to get access. They still won't process my order. I have no idea what's going on there. Uh, but I'm excited to test them. And I'm excited to see how the network performs, you know, alongside, you know, access to AT&T when you're not connected to Dish Native. Uh, but this is another site that they've done. And it's on top of several other sites that they've done. They've done a pretty nice job to try to cover the city. Uh, they're fastly approaching about 90% of the major macros that are you know, either coming off the freeway or on major roads, they still lack in some of the smaller suburban pockets. So in those instances, you know, they're going to be running on AT&T. Uh, they do have the deal with T-Mobile as well, but I just thought you guys would like to know. And I just wanted to show you guys, they are not done. Uh, they're going to continue to build and um, excited for a launch proper on the Boost Infinite service. So more updates to come as I find stuff and I produce content on it. So uh, stay tuned for more. Uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're new here. And then turn on the bell notifications icon so you never miss an upload. Like, share, subscribe for more. Comment down below your thoughts on this upgrade and what you see. If you have any questions, gladly answer those for you as well. Check out some of the links in the description for my Twitter handle if you want to interact with us there. As well as my Gmail address for business inquiries and my Patreon page if you want to support us and get early access to content and exclusive videos not found anywhere else. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Peace.